Hi there, this is Maarten Bajau from JetBrains. In this screencast, we'll have a look at TeamCity's meta runners. As you know, TeamCity comes with a series of runners out of the box, which offer support for different functionalities such as running MS Build and code inspections, Gradle and so on. This list of runners can be extended with runners that are available from various TeamCity plugins or by creating meta runners. Meta runners allow us to reuse build steps by representing them as a native TeamCity runner. They allow us to extract configured build steps from a build configuration into meta runners, so we can reuse them in other build configurations later on. Take this build step for example, which downloads a file using the end build runner. It checks if a destination folder exists, and if not, it creates it. It then uses the get task to download a file into that destination directory. This build step would be a perfect candidate to extract as a meta runner. We may want to be able to reuse this build step later on. Before we extract this meta runner, let's first create some configuration parameters for it. As we can see from the step script, we are using a parameter for the destination directory and the URL. From the build parameters, let's add them. We can edit the specification of our variable and provide a nice label and description for the TeamCity UI. We can also add validation rules, which can be very simple, such as checking if a variable is empty or not, or a full-blown regular expression. Let's do the same for URL and make sure we have a URL specified by adding a validation that specifies the field cannot be empty. We can now go back to our build step and extract it as a meta runner by using the button on the right. We can give our meta runner a name and a description and then save it. Next, we can reuse this meta runner in our build configuration. Let's add a new build step. As you can see, in the list of available runners we have our existing runners, but also our newly created meta runner. Let's select it. We can now provide the configuration parameters we need. We can see their label and description, as well as the validation rules we set up earlier. We can create multiple build steps based on this meta runner, and even copy it to other TeamCity projects so we can use it there as well. Create your own meta runners as you please. Documentation is available from our website. We also have a meta runner power pack available, which adds commonly used functionality or support for other platforms like PHP. Thank you for watching and see you next time.